So I'm going to search for the ZAP70 gene. And just to narrow it down, I'm going to choose human and click go. So I want the gene. I have to click human again. Here I see one hit to ZAP70. So if I click on ZAP70, I can see the gene tab. So all the links at the left are actually for specifically human ZAP70. And here are the splice variants in the table, along with non-coding transcripts. You can actually collapse that transcript table if you want to. I'm also going to close this information box. All it tells me is that for some information like UTR, I have to choose a specific splice variant. Okay, so my first question was, can I look at the sequence and draw sequence variations on top of that? So if I go to sequence, what I see is actually fast A format. So there's the sequence and exons are highlighted in red. So if I scroll down a little bit, you can see exon one, intron one, exon two, and so on. But how can I draw sequence variations on this view? So if I go to configure this page, I can customize the view according to my own wishes of what I see. So here's show variations. I will choose yes and show links. And notice there are other options, like I could change the flanking sequence. Maybe I don't want to see any upstream sequence, for example. I'm going to leave that on for now and click save and close. And now when I scroll down, you might be able to see I see a lot of sequence variation. They're color coded according to their consequence type, which either tells you where they are, for example, in the three prime UTR, in tronic, for example. If I scroll down, I can see some in the coding sequence as well. Those are synonymous and non-synonymous SNPs. To jump to a tab or open a tab with more information about the variants, you can actually click on one of the links at the left. So there's the DB SNP ID, RS, and a number. Or you can actually click on the variant itself. And this will open a little box of information. And then you can move to the variation um, and find more information that way. OK, so now that we've seen sequence variation on top of the sequence, I'd like to show you phenotype associations to this gene. That's in our new phenotype view. And I can see there's one OMIM association to zeta chain associated protein kinase. And if I want to see this record in an OMIM, I just click on the link. And I've got a little table of different phenotypes that are associated through the variation. And I can see where they're annotated from. So from the Cosmic Project, I have three different phenotypes, lung, ovary, and upper area digestive tract tumor sites. Um, I've got immunodeficiency due to selective T cell defect and et cetera. I can show to just see more information about what variant was used um, in this study. Okay, if I do want to see a list of all the variations in the sequence, and we're still talking about the small scale ones, I can click on variation table at the left here. And I have a table of different variation types. So if I wanted to see, for example, all the non-synonymous coding SNPs, I could click show for a little table of all those variations that actually change the amino acid sequence of this protein. OK, so finally, I'm going to show you structural variation, which is the third link here in the genetic variation section. And here we are uh, with, first, I'll explain the diagram. So I hadn't explained it yet, but we've got uh, different transcripts for ZAP70 shown here. The blue bar is the chromosome, so that's just the genome sequence. Um, and above, we've got gold transcripts and red transcripts. Both of those are protein coding. The gold transcripts, if you remember, are these high quality Havana ensemble merges. So those are pretty good transcripts. Um, and then you've got the blue ones, which are non-coding transcripts. 
So they're above the blue bar, meaning they're on the forward strands. And you can actually see the direction of translation shown by this little arrow here. Okay, so now if I scroll down, I see some structural variants are actually mapped to this region. So again, you can click on any of these bars to find more information about it. This is from DGVA, for example. It gives you the study number and the description. And I can see a list if you prefer a table rather than the diagram. You can just look underneath to see the structural variants, in this case, copy number variations in the region.